I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are going to make boy shorts. They are so cute and comfy, and I love wearing these under jeans or to bed. I also have a video on boxer briefs. How cute would it be if you made a matching pair for you and your significant other? So cute. So make sure you check out that video too. The link's gonna be down below. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons and lessons in person. So if you'd like more information on that, go over to sewanastasia.com or check out that link down below. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need some matching thread. You're going to need your rotary cutter and your rotary cutting mat. You're also going to need some elastic for your waistband. This one's one inch. Sometimes I prefer two to three inches, so it's an extra snug fit. Love it. You're also gonna need your two-piece pattern, which you can get at sewanastasia.com. The link is gonna be down below for that. You're also going to need about a half yard of a four-way stretch knit fabric, so that way your undies are super comfy. I'm going to be using this leopard print, the same one I used for the men's boxer briefs, so that means that there's going to be a matching set out there for him and her. The first thing we need to do is lay out our fabric and cut out the pattern. So we're going to fold our fabric so that way we have a fold here because our pattern is cut one on fold. And this is gonna be the center back of our boy shorts. So let's go ahead and cut it out. Next, we're gonna cut out this piece and it's cut one. Your two pieces cut out should look something like this. Now it's time to cut out our elastic. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and lay the top waist plus that little inset overlapping the seam allowance right here, 3 8 and 3 8 and we're gonna go ahead and measure this. But you also have 3 8 at this end and at that end, so we gotta take that off as well. And I usually like to come about an inch shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my elastic at 19 inches long. I know you're probably thinking 19 inches sounds really small, but I want you to take into consideration that this fabric has stretch, and you know, my elastic's pretty stretchy as well. But if you're unsure about your measurement, take your elastic and wrap it around your waist and make sure it feels comfortable. And if you think you need an extra inch, go ahead and add an extra inch. You want to be comfortable in your panties. Now that I have my elastic cut, we are all set to start sewing these together. I'm gonna to be sewing these together on a serger. If you don't have a serger, you can use your regular sewing machine and just use a zigzag stitch or an overcast stitch. If you're not sure how to use these stitches, make sure you check out my video, How to Serge Without a Serger. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S400. And the first thing we're going to do is sew the front panel to the side seams there. So now we're gonna take this front panel and we are going to serge it to this curved edge here. So make sure you have right sides together and let's run it through the serger. Just keep lining up your two layers of fabric with the edge of your serger to make sure you're binding them together. Your seam should look something like this. Now we want to place right sides together and sew up the other curve to the other side of the front panel. So I've got right sides together and I'm going to take the front panel and line it up with the curved edge here. front panel should look something like this. The next thing we're gonna do is sew together our inseam, which is this back curve and our front curve here. So let's make sure our two pieces of fabric are lined up and serge right down. Now your boy short should look something like this. Next, we're gonna sew together the elastic band. So go ahead and put your right sides together and just serge right across. For this step though, I would like you to leave nice long thread tails. So you 
should have these long thread tails. And these are important because we are gonna pull these down and sew those into the seam when we sew the waist. And then that way you don't have to worry about anything unraveling with the serge at the center back. So I'm gonna be cover stitching on the waistband and the leg openings. If you don't have a cover stitch, don't worry about it. You can totally use a regular sewing machine and switch it over to a zigzag stitch instead of using the cover stitch. The first thing I'm gonna do is cover stitch the leg openings. And what I need to do is turn them under 3 eighths of an inch and line them up so that way they can be cover stitched. So I've got my seam allowance turned up 3 eighths of an inch and I wanna make sure that that raw edge is right in the middle so that way I have a needle on both sides of that raw edge because the cover stitch is gonna cover up that raw edge. If you're doing a zigzag stitch, still fold it up 3 eighths and go ahead and just zigzag in the middle. When you get to the end, make sure your needles are up. Lift up your foot, grab your tweezers, lift up your foot and pull out your two threads and then go ahead and cut them. And then when you pull your garment to the back, it's gonna take all the top threads and bring them to the back. And then you'll just have one more thread to cut. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that we have the cover stitch done on both leg openings, it's time to cover stitch on the elastic waistband. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and cover stitch on the waistband. So you wanna make sure that the waistband is 3 8 of an inch over on the edge of your fabric. So that way when we cover stitch it on, it's going to get caught on the other side. And make sure your seam is at center back. And when we're sewing center back down, make sure you have your long tails and make sure they're pulled down so that way the cover stitch is going to catch them and then after you're done sewing you can cut off the extras and it's going to be nice and finished. I'm starting at center back and I'm making sure that my fabric is 3 8 of an inch under on my elastic on the sewing machine. There's also a little guide down here so I know exactly where to place the fabric. <laughs> Keep lining it up as you go. As you go, I like to pull the elastic just a little bit. This is gonna even out that extra inch that we cut it shorter than the fabric. When you get to the end, I like to overlap a half inch so that way I know I've caught the entire waistband. Half inch over, make sure my needles are up, lift up my presser foot, lift up my presser foot with my hand, grab my tweezers, pull your two top threads towards you, go ahead and cut, and then pull your panties out. We did it! We finished the boy shorts. They are so cute. I can't wait to try them on. These would be fun in so many different colors, in different colored waistbands, and textures. I'm so excited to make more boy shorts. The features on these boy shorts are the front panel, our leg openings with the cover stitch, and then our elastic waistband that's put on with the cover stitch as well. Look at how nice that looks. Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. If you have any questions about making boy shorts, make sure you leave the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Also, I would love to see all of your projects and boy shorts and undergarments as well. They are so fun to make and I love sharing the creativity. So make sure you DM me photos or tag me in your projects so that way I can reshare them on my stories and keep the creativity flowing. If you don't follow me yet on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest or one of those amazing social media sites, make sure you follow me to stay inspired as well. Also, right now I'm teaching virtual sewing classes and classes in my design studio. Information for more of that is going to be down below or you can visit SewingAnastasia.com. If you want to help grow Sewing Anastasia, hop on over to Patreon and donate as little as a dollar. Everything really helps keep the sewing studio going. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.